when an elderly grandmother notices that four boys are playing in her yard. She becomes distraught. It is laws and regulations that keep our society functioning properly. But as some of you may already be aware, rules can be readily broken, especially if you're not aware that they exist. As such, laws aren't always ideal. For one woman in particular, this was the situation. She was unable to comprehend why she was being called to court. She was sitting on her couch, thinking nonstop about what to do next. When she heard a tremendous bang coming from her yard, she looked out the window, attempting to make sense of what was going on. That's when she saw them. For boys walking toward her house. A shiver went through her. She couldn't help but question whether she ought to flee. Texas native Jerry, 75, has been contentedly living her retirement. She now lives peacefully on her two-acre property. Having purchased it many years ago, she knew she wasn't as young and vigorous as she used to be. But she wasn't prepared for the cops to come see her. Every state, as you are aware, has its own unique legal system. And Texas is no exception. But there's one specific legislation that completely confused Jerry. Jerry had made Riesel, Texas, his permanent home for some years. Your property's grass cannot be more than 18 inches tall under local ordinance. Failure to comply will result in a fine. Is there a catch? She had not been fined. And neither had Jerry. Because this rule had never been communicated to them. Then. What went wrong? Jerry was in breach of the city rule because her grass was too tall. According to Danny, the chief of police in Riesel. Still, she had no clue what was going on because she had never received a ticket. Next thing she knew, the cops showed up unannounced at her house to deliver the news that she was going to jail. Jerry, completely bewildered was at a loss for what to do. Some solution had to exist for this. Jerry didn't know what to do or even where to start. She maintained her innocence, saying she had never been notified of her court appearance. This led to her missing her court hearing and ultimately resulted in an arrest warrant being issued for her. Weighing her alternatives, Jerry realized she was in a jam. The cost of hiring a lawnmower was too high. And she was too weak and elderly to do it herself. It was a genuine conundrum. But she was unprepared for what was to come. Think about how terrifying the prospect of going to prison must have been for Jerry. How was she to get herself out of this jam when she had no resources and nobody to turn to for assistance? An unforeseen twist was about to occur and she had no idea. Jerry, who was utterly overwhelmed, sat in the living room. Her husband had died a long time ago, and she had no close relatives left. It appeared like she had run out of choices. But going to prison? There must be another way to fix that. She was deep in contemplation when the world around her erupted in odd noises her nerves jangling. She cautiously made her way to the window. From the boundary of her property. For lads were drawing near. This was the last thing she needed at the moment. And fear started to set in. Were these miscreants targeting the old? The males were drawing closer. And Jerry decided she would maintain her ground and fight if necessary. Unfortunately. Older people often have to deal with house intrusions because of their fragility and perception as easy targets. Jerry was well aware of this. So even though she didn't feel ready, she readied herself for any outcomes. However, 
Jerry saw something different about the boys as they got closer. After all, they weren't really scary criminals. These were young boys, the eldest of whom might have been 15. Still, she felt uneasy with their presence. How come they were on her land? Jerry was confused as the guys, drenched in muck and grime, roamed around. What on earth would they be searching for? She watched as the boys started to laugh and play, her curiosity taking over. Even though they were still in her territory, they didn't appear to be a threat at this time. Jerry was about to get her phone to contact the police when she saw one of the boys take a tool out of a backpack. They had tools with them. What in the world was going on? While the other two boys briefly vanished, two of the boys stayed behind. The males that were left took out a few additional goods and what appeared to be gardening tools, including shears and a weed whacker. Jerry was taken aback, unclear about their motives. She was shocked to see one of the two guys pushing a lawnmower when the other two lads later reappeared. The guys quickly got to work mowing the yard and pulling over grown plants. Jerry watched in shock as these young boys accomplished what she was unable to do. Her eyes filled with tears. After 59 years of living in that house, she was at a loss for words. Is this actually happening? Jerry was at her lowest point, clueless on what to do when four boys appeared out of nowhere to help her. The four lads, who were brothers as it turned out, gave the news an explanation for what they had done. We don't currently have season passes to Warren Falls. And it's a summer day. They had no idea that they had just spared Jerry from a possible jail sentence. So their compassion went much beyond simply mowing the lawn. Blaine Reynolds, one of the lads, said, She's 75 years old and needs help mowing. We haven't met her yet. The least we could do was that. I wouldn't want her coming out here to do it herself or paying someone else when we could just do it for free. A brother said in response. Jerry's neighbor next door noticed the boy's labors in the yard while the sun was beating down on them. She hurried over to offer them cool drinks. Wanting to help. Jerry observed five additional males walking toward her property at that very moment. She noticed they were carrying gardening equipment as they drew nearer. Together, the neighbors had devised a plan to help Jerry. While one group worked on one side of the yard, the other group concentrated on the other. Jerry's neighbors helped the four lads take care of her property together. Despite the sweltering 90 degree heat, the neighbors seized their own lawnmowers and got to work without hesitation. To make Jerry's life a little bit easier, the four brothers and their neighbors toiled diligently side by side. Jerry was struck by the sheer number of people who had come out to support her as he peered out her window. Her entire town turned up, demonstrating a remarkable show of solidarity and concern. This is unbelievable. Though I rarely lack words. This should go down in history as the one occasion when I was speechless. Jerry said. Looking shocked. The speed with which the work was finished startled Jerry even more. The four youngsters and her neighbors completely revamped her yard in the span of two hours. Their generosity rendered her stunned. The guys were shocked to hear later that an arrest warrant had been issued for Jerry. It would be my pleasure to do it again if it would prevent that woman from going to court. Blaine Reynolds said. Even though they were still young, these lads had already demonstrated great decency and generosity. We reminded Jerry that she still needed to go to the courts to sign documents declaring that she had never received the original court summons once the yard was mowed neatly and everything looked good again. Despite Jerry's desire for the accusations to be dismissed, 
the court had alternative intentions. It is extremely distressing to witness that individuals who were unaware of my existence publicly exposed themselves. Endured a two-hour period in the scorching sun. And followed our assumption of the city's desires. Only to be denied. Jerry expressed. She was forced to appear in court for Jerry's infraction. But alas. The city refused to budge from its decision. However, the people unwaveringly supported her on Facebook and other social media channels. Some news media posted Jerry's story, showcasing the community's response to her crisis. Jerry was spared court appearances after the four kind boys had her warrant annulled. Amazing things are possible when individuals pool their resources to aid the downtrodden. As this story demonstrates, a simple act of kindness, like lending a hand to someone carrying groceries inside or just saying something nice, may make a huge difference in someone's day. So, do something extra special for someone who is less fortunate today. In addition to making them happy, it will also lift your spirits. After watching the first story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. Now, let's watch another similar story. Peter had a vision for his daughter's life soon after she was born, and she had no clue that he adored taking her on trips, he was adamant about leaving her a meaningful bequest, but he had no plans to immediately hand it over, he held off on telling her the secret until she was of legal age to do so. Peter was ecstatic to see his daughter follow the hints that ultimately led to her life-changing revelation, for the first six years of his daughter's existence. Peter concealed this secret from her, and it burdened him, his anticipation of her discovering it was palpable, to make sure everything went according to plan, he had thought of a clever way for her to find out the secret, the small girl once begged her father for some spending money, and Peter had a feeling she'd find it. He wanted his daughter to learn the importance of hard work and perseverance, so he refused to make things easy for her. She was then dispatched by him to empty an abandoned window box, she had no idea that her finding would be worth a lot more than just a few cents, following closely behind were the girl's parents and grandma as they made their way into her room. Upon opening the window box, her initial impression was of its gloomy inside, she reached in, hoping to discover something important. Driven by her curiosity, the icy, metallic artifact she withdrew was even more exciting than she had anticipated. It was a doorknob, she realized as she examined it more closely, with a giddy excitement, she presented it to her father before returning her hand to the box, she had a strong suspicion that there was more concealed within, she had a point, she kept finding more and more bizarre things, and each time it was a doorknob, what followed was her discovery of what appeared to be a rod two metal circles, and an object, she was having a great time on her trip. Even if she hadn't uncovered any treasure just yet, she eagerly reached into the box for a second time, her anticipation building, something new had been discovered by her, Peter had spent years plotting this surprise excursion, but he doubted his daughter would be enthusiastic enough to participate and complete the quest, thankfully, his daughter shared his enthusiasm, so they kept sorting through the box. The young girl felt what seemed like paper as she dug around. She removed it from its dusty hiding place, and the room went silent in shock, as the girl pulled out what looked like a treasure map, her grandma let out a gasp, Peter studied the map intently, acting as if he were just as taken aback as everyone else, however, he was already fully aware of what it was, in an effort to maintain the suspense. He instructed his daughter's grandma to close the box lid before placing the map on top. The small child immediately pointed to a X inscribed on the map as soon as she saw it, a hidden chamber, oh my goodness, it's a treasure map, the girl exclaimed with utter delight, everyone gasped as she showed them the address on the map, and for good cause, it was the address of their house, when her grandma asked Kate where she thought the secret room may be, she pointed to another clue on the map, Kate had indicated that perhaps the secret room was upstairs. She wasn't quite sure where the concealed entrance indicated on the map might be, after telling his daughter that he thought the room was upstairs, 
Peter took out the map and urged her to take the lead, returning the chart to her. He advised that they proceed in the direction of the stairs. Peter instructed her to place the map on the floor when they arrived at the stairway, and she complied. The girl studied it attentively, then hurried out after declaring that she had discovered the location of the concealed door. She quickly realized, though, that she had made a mistake in her assumptions. She searched but was unable to find her family and returned home, disappointed. Her father intervened this time to assist steer her in the correct path. He recommended they take the map to her bedroom to have a closer look, implying that the hidden door was there. They took another brief look at the map and set off once more, really starting the treasure search. It turned out that Peter's daughter could read maps quite well, and he was happy that his small game kept her busy for the afternoon. More than anything, though, he hoped that this surprise would bring back lifelong memories. She settled into her bed when they got to her bedroom. The idea that her bedroom had been hiding a secret door all along struck her as odd. It was then that she spotted something odd about the wood on the wall next to her dresser. It appeared as though it might be covering the door. She immediately began beating and tapping on the wall and quickly discovered something shocking. Peter was just as excited as his daughter, since he had arranged the entire surprise mostly on his own. But his wife was as curious and perplexed as their daughter, eager to find out where the map would go. She watched in awe as her husband led their young daughter through every step of the journey. When the small girl banged on the wall, she heard a hollow sound and said, Here, with excitement, she burst into laughter, her excitement contagious, playing along. Her father tapped the wall with a look of theatrical surprise. He said, his face amused, that there was in fact a lot of hollowness in this section of the wall. However, his daughter thought of the next course of action. Peter inquired as to their plan of entry, and the girl boldly proposed cutting into the wall. Her mother voiced her disapproval of the plan immediately, but Peter was unconvinced. If there was a secret chamber, in his imagination, there might be priceless treasures there. Without a doubt, his daughter wholeheartedly agreed. Excitedly, she opened her arms wide and pictured a treasure trove, maybe even a fortune of up to $150,000, on the other side of the wall. No time was lost by Peter as he succumbed to her contagious enthusiasm. After mimicking his daughter's tapping on the wall, he couldn't help but be overjoyed. In fact, the center of her bedroom wall made a very different sound from the rest of the room, a hollow one. This was an integral aspect of Peter's meticulously planned strategy, which the girl was blissfully unaware of, even though he had shut up the secret area seven years before. He came back with an electric cutting tool and started cutting into it again. Her grandma and mother, who were very interested in recording the experience, did not stop rolling the cameras. The tiny girl needed headphones to drown out the sounds as Peter sliced through the wall. Nonetheless, her contribution was crucial. Peter summoned his daughter to help him open the wall flap he had made. She yoked at the flap in eager compliance. She peered in and shouted that she spotted something blue. But the wall panel was too heavy for her to remove in its hole. Her eager father ripped the flap off the wall using only his bare hands. The contents may be better seen by his daughter as a result of this. She peered through the opening with increasing excitement. After experiencing a little letdown, she realized that her expectations had been excessively high. Immediately after claiming there was no treasure, she realized she was incorrect, crawling through a tiny hole. She defied the wall's apparent concealment of an empty room. She said it was bad the second she stepped out, but her dad wasn't convinced. Although she was disappointed at first, she eventually came to love the hidden chamber behind her bedroom, until her father found something. She maintained there was nothing noteworthy. On the floor, Kate indicated what appeared to be a little treasure chest. As soon as the small girl got close enough to open it, she began to squeal with delight and claimed the treasure for herself. Her mom and grandma started photographing the astounding discovery. A variety of coins and jewels were among the artifacts that the girl so proudly displayed. She was asked by Kate to read aloud a particular note that was among the goods. The message read, I love you. Even though the girl first thought the coins were money, she quickly discovered they were earrings. The possibility that pirates transformed coins into earrings was brought up by her father. 
after waiting seven years, he finally got to experience the satisfaction of seeing her enthusiasm. Unaware of the tremendous work that Peter had put into making this surprise for his daughter, she sorted through the newly discovered treasure as he failed to notice her mother and grandmother's amazed looks. The achievement of the scavenger hunt filled them with immense pride, an ancient, dusty bay window box held a fictitious treasure map, which was the starting point of Peter's intricate scheme, when his kid got older, he helped her gently find the map, and it all worked out just right, his brilliant concept had completed the circle, and he had videotaped the entire encounter, luckily, on July 11, 2013, he uploaded the video on social media, where it has accumulated over 9 million views. Peter is without a doubt the coolest father ever, it was obvious that he put a lot of love into the project he made for his daughter Emerson, since his little treasure hunter was in diapers, he has been a loving father to her, Emerson doesn't seem to mind at all that Peter treats her like his little child even though she is no longer a little baby, she treasures the time she gets to spend with Phyllis Shirley Kate, her adored grandmother, in January 2017. This young child showed remarkable bravery by daring to stand near the edge of Brisbane City Hall. She and her father love having bacon and eggs for breakfast at Hunter and Scout in Brisbane, and she never says no, Peter, who also believes he's a pretty excellent dad, declared amusingly on his Facebook page that he's been the world's best dad 10 years running, best wishes to all the other dads who are in close second. Emerson never stops making her dad proud. She won a swimming medal and became an age champion on December 4, 2017, one day after turning 11 years old, this was an even bigger accomplishment than finding the treasure years earlier, who knows, maybe she'll win an Olympic gold medal one day, after watching the stories above, do you have any thoughts, feel free to share your opinions in the comment section, if you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel, that all about today's stories. See you next time.